Have you ever felt numbness in your taste bud just after drinking a really hot tea? Yep, true story. And even that is not the hottest thing around. There are other things like lava and even hotter our star, the sun. But the question is, can this list of hotter things can go forever? Meaning, is there a limit to how hot things can get? So in school, we have all heard about the three states of matter, right? Solid, liquids, and gases. And maybe further, something like bosines and condensate and something like plasma. The basic difference between all these is the movement of constituent particles, the particles of which the matter is made of. Plasma is the hottest of all. Well, the constituent particles of plasma move really, really fast and get so energized that the electrons from their atoms get stripped off right away. Now, what if we keep increasing the temperature beyond plasma? Then there comes a temperature so hot that even protons and neutrons literally melt. And quark gluon plasma is made. Wait, what is quark? What is gluon? What is quark gluon plasma? Well, first, let's start off with what are quarks? Well, quarks are tiny elementary particles that make up protons and neutrons. There are three in each. Two up quarks and one down quark in protons, and two down quarks and one up quark in a neutron. Gluons act as glue. They help in keeping the quarks contact with each other. Seriously, faces, glue, gluons. In quark-gluon plasma, the quarks and gluons are all separated, or they are in free form. So, how do we know it exists? Well, in the 1980s and the 90s, scientists at CERN were doing experiments to find out what happened right after our universe was formed. Or, nowadays known as the Big Bang Theory, not that kind of Big Bang Theory. And finally, in year 2000, we made quark gluon plasma by colliding two heavy nuclei. But we couldn't sustain it for long enough, you know. It expanded and immediately cooled off. So Arika, what you're saying is quark gluon plasma is the hottest thing in the entire universe? It's a little complicated. You remember I said that uh, things could be hot if particles move faster and faster? Yes, this is the important point. The fastest thing that can move around in the universe is light. Nothing can exceed the speed of light. Well, just like speed, temperature has a limit. Well, we can say that because constituent particles can move up to a certain speed. And cause a certain amount of heat. Well, we can say that if we follow Einstein's theory of special relativity. And to your surprise, we have actually formulated the temperature limit kind of like this. This is something called as Planck temperature. If you work out a little calculation, you will find it approx 10 to the 32 degrees Celsius. And at this magnitude, temperature literally becomes undefined. So mathematically speaking, Planck temperature is the highest temperature we can think of as of now. There are, of course, many other theories you could look up to, like singularity of a black hole, which has infinite density, implies an infinite temperature and they are way too mind-boggling and a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So if you have any question or correction, please reach me out to the comments. I will see them very passionately and give it a thumbs up if you liked it.